might be good enough to eat. Or is it bad? Did it go rotten? <laughs> hey guys, so if you guys watched my last video, you know I was teasing some things and I said donuts. Yes, this is the Revolution Beauty. It's I Heart Revolution. It's Revolution Beauty. Revolution Makeup. Whatever. It's their donut tray. Pellet donuts. A little box that they put out for Christmas. Um, this was, I think, 30 something dollars. And I got it for 10 a 50 the other day, Ulta. Well, the gift card I got for Christmas. So you open it up, and it's like, it's like a Krispy Kreme box. Oh, so cute. So cute. It kind of smells like a donut, but, like, the products don't smell like a donut. So I actually did this whole look today with it. So my eyeshadow, bronzer, blush, and highlight is all this. The only thing I did not use are these. And these are sponges, which I'm kind of afraid to use these. I can't get into it. Oh, my God. Um, let me see if I can get it out. Yeah, they're like little little sponge wedges. Um, I think I might save these and use them for when I do my special effect makeup. I'm gonna start getting back into doing that stuff. Um, so let's we'll see. It's cute. It's cute. Not gonna lie. So you get in this. Oh god, I'm gonna rip it. You get five palettes and a little box of sponges in this little set. So, I'll talk about the first palette, and this is the Cinnamon Sugar Palette, and this is the bronzer. These are squishy packaging, which is cute. It does smell like cinnamon sugar. I think the outside smells like it, and not the inside, which is kind of weird, but whatever. But, it's the bronzer I have on right now, if you can see. Um, okay. So, you get a mirror in every palette, and you get a nice panda bronzer. So I'll swatch this. This bronzer's not bad. It blended nice when I put it on my skin. It builds up nice. It's cool tone when you put it on, but like I feel like it went a little red on me. So not necessarily a bronzer. It's not necessarily my favorite bronzer, but it's a bronzer I'll probably use. I'll probably use it up eventually. Um. So not bad. A little bronzer. The next thing I used, which is why I look like an Oompa Loompa, not an Oompa Loompa, but a, a glowy donut itself. This is the pink frosting donut, and this is the duo highlight slash blush. It's like a, it's a blush light. Is that what the new trend is? This stuff, you get, so you get a very light baby pink, which is a highlight, and then you get a darker pink, which is a darker pink highlight. And they're supposed to be blushes, but they have so much shimmer in them. I used them as a blush, but you can see, like, that's my highlight there. But you can see, that's very shiny. It shows a lot of texture. So if you're a person that does not like shiny blushes, this is not for you. Now, I don't necessarily think I would use this as an actual blush again. But as a blush topper, I have a couple of those I like. They put a matte blush down, and then put this as a topper. I would like this. I would use this as, like, a pinky highlight. But I'm not mad at this. I'm just thinking if, like, you're not into, like, that shiny stuff, you're not going to light that up. The highlight. And this is the vanilla frosting. Does it smell like vanilla frosting? I have to sniff everything. But the packaging, I just love squishing it. This highlight is there. It's a nice champagne. Kind of champagne and vanilla color. I like what they say. It's got a little, almost like a pink undertone. It's the highlight I'm wearing. It's very blinding. That's like one swipe and some blending. Like, that is a blinding highlight. I really love the highlight. Revolution does really great highlights. So I'm not surprised that that is amazing. I will definitely put this in my rotation and be using this. Then the last two palettes are both eyeshadow palettes. And that's what I got this look today. So, like, I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to show you. Another very shiny. This is a very shiny kit. Let's just say that. So you get two. You get this one, which is the chocolate caramel. And this is the peanut butter and jelly. So we'll go with the chocolate caramel. I use both of them in conjunction to make this look. So in the chocolate caramel, you get these colors. You get a matte brown, like a lilac purple, a shimmer black, 
uh, shimmer, kind of army green, and this light. This is the color I used on my lid. So it's almost like a greeny gold color. So for this, it's the only matte you get. So that's what I used on the outer corner here on my eye look. It blended very nice. It wasn't patchy or anything. This, this lavender I put in my crease a little bit above it. This really doesn't have a payoff of color. It's very light. Um, like, it has a little bit of a sheen to it. Like, I'll swatch some of these. Like, you can see, like, they're powdery shadows. They're not the, like, the best. Like, those are the three colors I used from that palette. You can see that lavender is, like, non-existent on my skin. The brown's good, and that greeny gold color is good. Um, not the best quality eyeshadows, but not the worst I've ever tried. Like, I've tried worse from the Dollar Tree. Um, but, oh my god, I'm blinding you, sorry. Uh... Is this a standalone palette? No. Would I use these pretty shimmery shades for lid shades from a thing? Of course. I'm definitely going to use this. It's not like I'm going to throw it in the garbage or anything. And then now the peanut butter and jelly palette. I used two colors from this. So these are all shimmers. You don't get a single matte in this one. They're all shimmers and satins. So for this one I used this berry color. Which kind of got a hard pan. And I kind of had to scrape it a little bit and now it's fine. And then I use this pink color. These actually are pretty nice shimmers. So I use this berry color in the crease and build it up. And then I use this pink. That's the inner corner highlight, which is a pretty poppin' inner corner highlight, if I can say. So I haven't used the rest. Uh, another one that has no matte, so it's not a standalone palette, in my opinion. But it's great, like, compliment looks. So... If you were to get this on clearance, that's what you're looking at. Should you buy it? Well, if you're going to display this, this is the cutest, cute, it's so cute. It's very cute if you're going to display it. Quality-wise, it's okay. It's, like, I feel like it's older revolution. It's like a typical holiday quality kit. Um, Because revolution, revolution beauty, the lab, I always call it Revolution Beauty because they have like all these different sublines now. Um, Makeup Revolution. They, uh, sorry I have an itch. Uh, they have been putting out really good quality stuff lately. But this I feel like is kind of their older quality. Um, so like do you need it? No. Would I have paid the retail price for it? No. And I would have been probably disappointed. But for ten fifty, yeah. Because I that highlight alone is gorgeous. I'm going to use the bronzer. It's a little warm for me right now, but for summertime, it's going to look great. The eyeshadow palette. The look I came up with was a pretty look. Like, it's not an ugly look. Um, the blush. I'm going to use the blush topper. The sponges I could do without. Like, I feel like they could have took the sponges out and maybe put, like, a lip palette in there. That would have been cute. Like, do four lip colors or, like, a little lip palette. But that's my review on that. So, like, overall... You can get a pretty look out of it. Like, I feel like I have a pretty look. I feel like I'm a little glowy. Just a little bit with that blush. That blush is throwing me out because I usually don't use that much of a glowy blush. But, that's all I got. That's my little baby mini review on that. So, like, if you're in Ulta and you see it on the clearance rack, pick it up if you're into it. If you... Because, like, I feel like... <sighs> once I get my shit together and actually find an apartment that I've been looking for for, like, six months now... Um, and I get my vanity area all set. I might display those on my vanity because they're pretty damn freaking cute and I like squishing them. So that's all I got today, guys. And let me know. Have you guys been all lately? What other clearance stuff they had? Because they had a lot of stuff on clearance. I almost picked up that pretty BH palette. I think it was like the fairy light palette or whatever. It had the pretty, like, iridescent white packaging, which was gorgeous. Um... But, like, I looked in the colors, and I had too many blues in it. And you know how I feel about blues. And I just got the blue blood palette and the blue moon palette. So I think I'm going to wear blues for the rest of my freaking life. And every other goddamn palette that has a blue in it. But, <laughs> my rant about blue eyeshadow. I just do a video about makeup trends that, like, let me know if you want to see something like from me. Like, just my opinion on certain makeup trends and, like, different things in the makeup community that kind of, like, bug me a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. But 
that's all I got tonight, guys. I will see you in my next video. And I think my next couple of videos, after I post, I have pre-filmed. This is my third pre-filmed video. So it should bring me into next week. And I should have my boxing Ipsy be coming in by then. So we'll see what our subscription box are holding this month. So, love you guys. I'll see you when I see you. Bye.